Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just JK and welcome back to my channel for another GTA Online video. And in today's video, I'm going to be fully modifying, customizing and reviewing the brand new half track which came out with the Gunrunner and DLC. So as you can see, this vehicle looks fucking nuts and you can purchase it for two different prices. The cheaper price is if you complete a mission beforehand and obviously the buy it now is if you want to skip that mission and just want to fucking get it outright. So the first price is 1.6 million, almost 1.7 and the second price is 2.2, almost 2.3 million. So if you are hard up for a bit of cash and you want to do that, mission to save a little bit of money i suggest you do that but without any further ado guys we're going to get this got we're going to get in the moc and see what sort of customizations we can do to this bitch so you go my bros back in the moc and we're going to start this build with 100 percent body armor then we're going to go to the armor plating and holy shit that one actually looks really cool that would be a lot nicer if there were this sort of um design but all the way around you know beggars, beggars can't be choosers man we're gonna get the heavy armor plating for the brakes we're gonna get the race brakes engine obviously we want to get a level four engine upgrade for the horn we are just gonna get the ah oh, fuck it let's get the cop horn no let's get the clown horn why the hell not for the lights i'm gonna get the xeon headlights then we go on to the liveries we do get the choice of liveries which is uh gonna be the same as all the others by the looks of it actually looks really cool on this one the, uh, the sprayed camo I like that. I like it a lot. And because I do like it so much, I'm going to buy, fucking buy it. Why the hell not? So next we've got the proxy mines. We do want to grab them. So then we go on to the respray. So it's the matte color and it will be desert tan. For the secondary color, not really sure what this is going to change, but we're going to go into matte color. And, ooh, it changes the wheels. Now in that case, what I will do, I, f I think we're going to go classic. I oh know it changes the uh, fender as well, which is dog shit. Thought we kind of have a shiny fender, can we? And the fucking matte for the rest of the body. So we're going to stay with matte. Going to go with this matte grey. So next we've got the turbo. Obviously we'll grab the turbo tuning. And uh, then we go on to the weapons. Oh shit. And that's a fucking gun. <laughs> Holy crap. That is nuts. And it's operated by a, a single person. Which is not too bad. But that is, them, they look fucking like they do some damage. Jesus. So obviously we are going to purchase them. Oh, and we get an option for window tint. So we're going to get, fuck it, we're going to get the limo tint. So again, my bros, there is the customization of the half track. We're now going to get back onto the streets and see what um, sort of performance it's like. So here we are out on the streets. And uh, straight off the bat, it's quite qu quite quick, sort of like going in a straight line, you know. Uh, but I do really want to try it going up a, up a cliff, up a cliff side because of the track. So I'm going to go full throttle, see how it handles it. With fucking ease, man. But I did just... Yep, yeah, that's not going to go through that. But it holds nicely. I think if you've done it a little bit more tactfully, it'll get up there. You know, don't go full throttle. Just sort of like ease it. I will, go, I will, I will climb it. Maybe not. No. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> this ain't gone to plan, is it? Oh, shit. That's rubbish at turning as well. It's got a fucking turning circle of a battleship. Awful. I'll climb that with fucking no problem. There you go, straight up. You know, as long as there's no rocks in your way, that will climb a cliff top. No problemo. So that's that. It's the turning circle of a fucking boat. And, uh, but it can climb a mountain. Or a cliffside anyway, at fucking with ease. So, uh, yeah, let's see what the cannons are like. Because obviously, oh, we've got the proxy mines, which are there. And um, obviously that's a solo weaponization. But we're gonna uh, you're gonna need a second person to operate the gun if you want to drive and shoot at the same time. Uh, which is a shame, but it's come to expected considering that you got these big fucking cannons on, on the trailer and there's a control panel just there. So <laughs> it's kind of expected that you're gonna need a second person to, to help you out with this vehicle. But we'll go quickly jump out and see what these fucking cannons are like man your whole triangle is it the same yeah it is your whole triangle you jump into the back fuck look at these bitches doing some damage man oh was that like two shots three shots maybe one two oh no it's a little bit more on that one so there's not many shots man he's fucking demolishing it absolute fucking OP motherfucking gun. If you're driving around and you've got some some um, crew member or friend or whatever on the back shooting, 
There's not gonna be much stand in your way, that's just damn sure. Where's these cop cars, man? Let's try this out. It's <laughs> just fucking nuts. The bees. And it moves around really quickly as well. See how quick that moves. I mean, some of these turret guns, you know, uh, i.e. when you got the tank and uh, you want to turn around or whatever, turn the, ca the cannon around, it takes a fucking age for it to turn around. But with them guns, it's from one side to the other in a blink of an eye, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, overall, I think this is a fucking very, very uh, good vehicle. Well worth the money. Obviously, it's not going to be the fastest. It's not going to be the best around corners. But then again, it's not a fucking race vehicle, is it? But it's, um, it'll do what it needs to do. And it just pushes vehicles out of the way like that. Anything gets in your way, just pushes it out of the way. Uh, downside, like I've already said, you do need a second person to be able to operate the guns on the back. But you do get a proxy mines that you can drop yourself, which is a little bit of a compensation, I would say. But anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, smash the motherfucking like. And if you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 content. And until next time, I'm out. Adios.